So in this video, we shall be covering about how to connect this code and fire the orders with different kind of broker APIs. And we shall be starting with LS Blue first. Before we do that, let me tell you what I have done so far. I have basically refactored this code. Refactoring is like a beautification of the code, you can tell in that way. So as you can see, I have made this code in a way that you, if you just change this bank nifty to nifty, it will run exactly smoothly fine. So from the bank nifty to golden SEO strategy, we can just call it golden SEO strategy. Now you can use this in all kind of instrument from Reliance to everywhere. Now I also have changed the symbol info here. We have actually hard coded in the last video, the direct expiry date in this case. We are getting the symbol info variable from this NSE quote meta function from NSE Python, and uh, we are getting the expiry date here as well as the symbol is also not hard coded. Now, as you can also see, that uh, I have also replaced this BNLTP uh, variable with symbol LTP, and I also replaced the hard coded magnifty with symbol variable. So, let's start with the allies part. So I am basically assuming that you have already seen the video of how to do basic connections with allies and how to print your positions and fire the basic order. If you have not seen that, see the other video. You can find the link in the description below. After getting all the necessary variables, let's start initializing broker connection. So as you know, and as you can, as you have seen in the other video that we need uh, six variables here. One is the username, password, 2FA, and uh, the other is client ID, client secret, and redirect URL. So I'm just putting the hashes here so that you can just put whatever you want. And uh, I shall be using Krishna's library here. And uh, let me just copy paste certain stuff. We need to get the access token. Sorry, first we need to import the library, which is done. Then we have declared the variables. We need the access token here. And we have added the certain redirect URL here also. So we shall be using, wait, password. Yeah. Now the variables are done. Correctly. Okay. Now. We need to initialize and we do not need actually see I copied and pasted it from this place okay so we basically need some more stuff uh, I don't need the NCBAC stuff but let's, let's just keep it because you can also use it for the crude oil also right now we need to get the symbol foot So how to get a magnifty in allies blue just type nifty so this is how you get magnifty in allies blue let's just make it symbol now this symbol is also symbol now this is the tricky part we need to change our variable from here to date time variable so let's see what is the current input here let me just show you i'm just copying this i'm just clicking add symbol info anyways leave it we can just print the symbol info So it will be returning a string format. We need to convert that into a date time. So okay, we have not run the previous command. Let me just hard code it to Bank Nifty. Yeah. So the expiry date is looking like that. We need to convert this to date time. So let me just declare a variable there. Let's call it expiry date formatted now we are using the date time function and 
strp time and we need to take the symbol info here and we want if you can just also google this strp time format i actually recall this so i am just writing it anyways comma the actual format is star we are getting in this format close dot we need to get the date so this is the properly formatted one we need in this line and we need to add it here so it is done now two more thing as we are not entering in the paper bot and we are entering in a real trade we need to mention the quantity in a perfect way right if symbol is bank nifty let's do it one lot quantity is 25 cool so this is all the info we need to start the broker now what we have to do we need to just execute the buy order when the buy order is happening we need to execute the sale order when the sale order is happening that's it so let's type so you can just see go here and type order so this is the module for placing the order which is allies place order this one So transaction type in this case is buy instrument in this case we have already written symbol shoot the quantity is already declared in the variable called quantity the order type is market only and it is not delivery it is intraday and we do not need this other stuff so we can just do this so this is the buy order and this is the sell order now when a buy is triggered if our target is hit or our stop loss is hit we need to close the trade in both of the cases right so in that case we need to just exit the trade with a sell command and in the buy case sell case it should be the vice versa so i am just pasting the same thing everywhere first it should be sell so basically that's it this video is perfected now one more thing you can do which is replacing all the functions that uses the data from the nsc and replace with the allies blue data like this function which is fetching the last traded price of the bank nifty also the functions which are fetching the historical data like uh, the previous day high and low and uh, also the function which is fetching the intraday high and low to see the other implementations of other kind of brokers go to the just type here golden uh, ratio strategy i think it will be coming in, in github yeah i have already pasted the github link just have a look at that i have already updated in the real trading bot so here you can see the code uh, by done by the other members of the unofficed you can see by various brokers like allies blue has two different versions in one version we are using the nsc data and allies blue data like i did here and the other version is using completely allies blue data and also you can see the whole solution using the interactive brokers api as well as the zero api and basically all of them are following the same schema and method which i have used in the main jupyter notebook to create the paper bot so the main thing that matters here is the schema that when to buy when to sell and how to manage the trade now there is one more way you can manage this trade that is by using the bracket order futures which are given by the nse 
So in Indian brokers, you can fire a bracket order that will automatically put the stop loss and the target order. And also in the international brokers, this function is also there, which is like directly having the stop loss and the target. Now in this case, when we are firing the order, we are automatically putting the stop loss and target. So there is no need to manage the trade. And uh, in India specifically, we are getting a huge margin benefit in when you are firing a bracket order. Now there are multiple cases that is arising in this case, which is leading to the complexity. Now that is what we called as error handling. What you have shown in this whole entire video is how to create this basic schema and paper trading and stuff. But when you are deploying it to the live, you need to be talking about the more error handling. So let's talk about some errors. One of the error is primarily the broker is not giving any data for some time or the NSE is down. So what you will do in that case, right? If the NSE is down more than 30 minutes square of all the trades, and if it's not able to cause square up all the trades, it should also can send you an automated call using the Twilio API. And there are API for every services there. Like it can send you WhatsApp message, it can send you Telegram message also that your order is not being squared up and we are unable to fetch the data. And uh, apart from these errors, there are many more errors like what if the broker is not allowing the bracket order for that particular day? So in that case, it can automatically switch to the other order module and it should also check the available margin, right? So these are the basic cases of error handling which I am talking about. As you can see what matter professionally is, how you are solving these errors.